Could Buddy Heald be a member of the Dallas Mavericks? We're going to explore that here on today's show. You see Coop. Who knows? Maybe. Harrison Graham, Jeffrey Cooperstein here. And Coop, uh, according to reports, Buddy Heald wants out of Indiana. And uh, Sham Sharanya dropped that report yesterday. And it looks like a trade could happen before opening night, as and perhaps even sooner, uh, as things are apparently picking up uh, on the trade market. Yeah, here's what Shams had to say. After contract negotiations stalled out, Buddy Heald and the Pacers have started dialogue to work on finding a potential trade. So that's interesting, especially when it comes to the Mavs, because the Mavs have been linked with Buddy Heald for the, it seems like, the past three years now, and now a trade for Buddy Hill could possibly be in the cards. Yeah, when you see Shams come out like that, like if they've started conversating about working out a trade, like he's getting traded, a a barring something unforeseen. Like I would say there's an 80% chance he gets dealt, whether it's now or uh, before the trade deadline. And Buddy Hill, you, you are a Dallas, are Dallas Mavericks. Mavericks. We hope. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love Buddy Heald on the Mavericks. I think, like I said, he fits really well here. And the, the biggest thing that Buddy Heald brings is his elite shooting. I mean, if you just look at the stats over his career, almost 550 games played. He's averaging 16 a game, a career 40% three-point shooter on seven attempts. This guy is just an absolute sniper from downtown. And when you have Luka and Kyrie, having Buddy Heald just sitting there in the corner yeah. shooting threes, that would be awesome. Yeah, and look, uh, we can't reveal who, but we've had a little birdie tell us that Buddy Heald's very interested in Dallas. Like, he would like to end up here. And to your point, Coop, I mean, I don't know if he's like a true number three on a contender, but like, if you go Luka, Kyrie, Buddy Heald, and Grant Williams, that's a pretty good way to start. And then obviously, the main thing you have to figure out long term is that center position. You hope long, long term it's Derek Lively, but... That's that. That's pretty, pretty formidable. That's man. Pretty formidable, especially offensively. Now, Buddy's not going to give you a ton defensively, but I don't know. Like we'll talk about trade packages. It's like, is he worse than Hardaway on that end? Probably not. So. I'm at the point where I've just disregarded defense as a as a component <laughs> of basketball, and I just want to score 140 a game. Yeah, go score 135 a, a game. Uh, We'll see. We'll see. We'll continue to explore. We want you guys, the MFFLs, to weigh in first, though. Should the Mavericks trade for Buddy Heald? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. Pen comment on today's show. So if you get hit with that YouTube bad break, go ahead and reply right there. So here are just a couple of reasons why I think Buddy, Buddy Heald would fit with the Mavericks. We already went over the first point. He, he's an absolute three-point sniper. I think he's one of the most underrated shooters of all time. He is an all-time great three-point shooter at the volume in which he does it, over seven attempts a game, yep. shooting 40%. And I think he would get so many open looks in this offense with Luka and Kyrie dishing it out. You would have two of the best pure shooters in the NBA with him and Seth Curry. Obviously, Seth has his limitations in terms of how many minutes you can give him because the defense just isn't there. But to have two guys like that on, on the same team is, is pretty appealing. And I was kind of racking my brain. I kind of think it would be that would be a reason to not trade for Buddy Heald is because you have Seth Curry already. I'd still who, do it. Who kind of feels that role. I think I would as well. But then you're kind of screwing Seth over again, which for the third time the well, Mavericks would be doing. You, you are and you're not, though. Like, number one, like, Seth is a bench player. He like, is. Like, we know that. Buddy Heald's a starter in this league. So I don't think that really changes, especially if you're shipping out Tim Hardaway. Buddy Heald just gets his minutes and maybe three to five more. Uh, and then, yeah, you, you know, maybe Seth's minutes go from 18 a game to 14. But, like, you got to improve the roster, man. Like, if you can get Buddy Heald. It's a talent acquisition business. Yeah, like, and I, I love Seth, man, but – Buddy Heald's a, a few years younger. He's he's longer as well. Like, he's not going to give you, like, great defense. But, like, he's at least a guy that's, like, not just so bad on that end just because of his lack of he's size and athleticism. Hole. Yeah, like, he's like he's like Hardaway a year or two ago where it's like, okay, he's not great, but, like, it's serviceable. You're not just going to completely get hunted there. Seth gets hunted. Like, it, when he's when he's out there, he gets hunted defensively. So. so, Buddy has, obviously, all the intangibles on the court that the Mavs are looking for, but also off the court as well. He does live in Dallas. He went to Oklahoma, so a lot of his personal life is based here. So, I, Mavericks today, especially myself, can say with confidence that I think Buddy Hill wants to be a Maverick. If he has a preferred trade destination, I would say it's Dallas. That's not to say that he is going to be traded to the Mavericks, but I think if he were to choose, it would be Dallas for this one year. Yeah, and you wonder, does the Rick Carlisle connection play a role here? I, 
in a positive or negative way? I mean, does Rick say, yeah, we'll trade you, but uh, if I have anything to do with it, we're not shipping you to Dallas? Or is it vice versa? I kind of think it would work out in the positive way because I think Rick would love to work with Tim Hardaway. Yeah. It, it, and it, Let's be clear. If a trade were to happen, it would be Tim Hardaway going the other way. Yeah. I mean, so I, I, I think that would work out in the Mavericks' favor, but who knows? Yeah, and we'll look, take a look at some trade ideas in a second. But uh, subscribe to the channel. If the Mavs trade for Buddy Heald, I promise you, Coop and I are going to plug out a video for you guys. So hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. Training camp is here next week. Things are heating up around the NBA. You're seeing all like a lot of like buzz start to pick back up. Dame, like that just tells you the NBA is just around the corner. Coop, We're almost so. back, baby. This Training camp next week, I believe. What What is today? The 21st. So we are six days away, less than a week. Let's go, man. I'm pumped. I'm starting to chuckle because of this next graphic we're going to flash here. Uh, All I'm saying, <laughs> I found this on Twitter the other day. I, I scrolled through this account, 242 Boss. All the tweets are about Buddy Heald, man. I'm just saying it may or may not be a Buddy Heald Twitter account. And all the likes are saying he wants to go to Dallas. He's a so man. I don't know. I would love to get him here, man. Like, And here's the deal, too. Like, As long as you're not over-trading for him, he's on an expiring deal. So... You kind of get just get to see how he fits. Now, ideally, if you trade for him, you can work and work with him on an extension. On an extension yeah. I, like you would like to make that happen. Now, let's take a look at a trade idea from each of us. Coop, take us through yours. Pretty simple stuff. Yeah, here. here's mine. It's just Hardaway in two seconds. The salaries obviously match, and I I don't think I'm willing to give away a first for an expiring deal. So I just threw in the two seconds that the Mavs got it, it over in the off season, and I think this would be enough to get it done. Honestly. Yeah, the one I had, and look, I, I obviously prefer yours. Don't get me wrong. I, I had the same package, but instead of the two seconds, I went with the first. I'd probably add a protection to it, but um, I just like, if you're Indiana, yeah, okay, extension talks have stalled, whatever. A, I got to think there's probably a better deal out there for them than t Tim Hardaway Jr. in two seconds. And B, if, uh, if that's the best offer I can get, I'd rather let this play out longer if I'm Indiana. Why would I trade Buddy Heald, who's on an expiring deal, for Tim Hardaway, who's got two years left? Like, worst case scenario, well, he's off your books and you can use that money in the offseason. So that's kind of how I look at it. So I, I added a first in there because I think you may take that. And, Coop, I would prefer not to do that. But if that means you extend him, too, on a, on a not a crazy deal and you keep him for three or yeah. four years, then, like, Okay, yeah, if, like, I don't hate that. If like, he's agreeing to an extension and you're getting him at three years at a reasonable price, three I years, think I would... $55 million? Yeah, something like that. I think I would do that. I, yeah, I, I like Buddy Heald, the player. Uh, the package, I would be pretty limited in what I give up, but I, I would probably go with two seconds. If it took a first and it guaranteed an extension, though, I'd consider it. The downside to this, Coop, is if you do trade your first, like, your ability to get a clear upgrade at center decreases imminently. Significantly, yes. So, I mean, that's the Mavs the only have two first-round picks to deal with, I believe, so yeah. it would significantly hinder that for yeah, sure. No doubt. We'll continue to discuss, but uh, BetUS, the place to go. Uh, I'll tell you what. If you don't sign up with BetUS right now and gas the Cowboys this week, I've told you two weeks in a row, they're about to stomp Arizona. Uh, so gas the Cowboys. Chatsports.com slash MFFL, promo code MFFL. You put down 100 bucks when you sign up. Get 125 bucks for free. Bet on Dallas. You win money. That's how this works. Get going with BetUS. Okay. Um, I wanted to bring this angle of it up. When, I, when you asked me to cook up a trade idea, I explored a crazy one with a Buddy-Turner combo. And I think what that l would look like, Coop, is obviously Tim Hardaway yep. still in there. I think Maxi Kleva's probably in there. I think Josh Green's probably in there, and it's probably both your firsts. I'd, yeah. do, I'd probably do it, man. So we'll, we'll get to my trade idea in a second, but I just wanted to explore the just the concept of it. Does Buddy Heel does a Buddy Heel trade to Dallas open the door for Miles Turner coming here? I mean, it can't hurt, right? Because you're dealing with the same team already. Now, I don't think the Mavs at the end of the day have the ammo to get it done for both of them. But I think, like you said, we should explore what a trade looked like. This is the idea I came up with. It's kind of similar to yours, but it has a little, a little different twist to it. So I went with the Mavs are trading Tim Hardaway Jr., Josh Green, Rashawn Holmes for the salary match, two firsts and a second. The only reason I mentioned Maxi is I just think he has more value. And if you're going to get he does, Turner, I feel like you're probably – you probably have – if you're getting healed in Turner – I think you probably have to get two for sure, like... So you would go Maxi instead of Holmes? I mean, I'd rather go Holmes. Yeah, of course. No, I, <laughs> but I mean to get the deal done, yeah. 
I think I would be willing to do it. I, I mean, I know that's a, that sounds that's a lot to give up, but Turner's still a young four or five option. Heald's a I mean, those are two guys, Coop, that can play on the Luca Kyrie timeline. For like, sure. It, it's not like Turner has two more years left on his deal at reasonable price, and by look, the way. I like right Maxi. He's always hurt though, man. I love Maxi, like, man. Maxi's my guy. He's a he's a great soldier for the Mavericks. He's been a great servant to the team, but yeah, he is always hurt. He's on a very affordable contract. And the thing about Maxi is he is forced to play so many minutes for the Mavericks because of their lack of overall defensive talent. Maxi needs to be playing 15 to 20 minutes a game. And it he, just is what it is. And here's the bottom line, too. Even with those three players, let's add Maxi to it, so Holmes or Maxi, regardless. Who are the two best players out of every player on screen? The ones you're getting. It's the ones you're getting. Maybe Josh Green elevates and becomes more. We don't know. But we don't know that. So I think I would do that. Now you're trading two plus defenders in Green and Maxi, but you're also getting the best defensive player overall in Turner. Yeah, Turner would upgrade the Mavs defensively pretty significantly. I mean, he blocks a lot of shots. He's a decent enough rebounder. I would love love this package, man. I just don't think it ends up happening with the Mavs and getting Turner. I don't think even. so either, but think about this. If you do pull this off, you're kind of set. Like, oh, yeah. You, you you're don't you're really, contending if you, if you pull this. You don't off. really have any holes at that point. Like, sure, you could do, like, minor moves at the deadline, add a shooter, whatever it is. But, like, you don't have a glaring weakness if you bring in that five and then if but, you upgrade from Hardaway to Buddy Heald. Like, that's <laughs> – that's pretty uh that's pretty lethal if you're able to pull that off. So what do you guys think? Is this enough to get this deal done? I think probably not, which again is why I would even elevate to Maxi in that deal. And hell, take the second second round pick too. I don't care at that point. Like I'm uh I'm doing everything I can uh if I can get both Buddy Hield and Miles Turner. Let us know. D for deal or Indy for no deal. All right, Coop. Um, a lot of buzz around the NBA, man. The Dame Lillard stuff heating up a little bit. Buddy Heald asking for a trade. Who knows what's next? Training camp less than a week away. I can feel the basketballs bumping off the wall. Yeah, way. we might have to cook up just a new trade ideas video uh, in general because I feel like the trade buzz is picking back up. Like, it feels like something across the league is happening in the next couple now, of weeks. Now, why would that be the case? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know, man, but I'm very <laughs> excited and I'm very pumped for this season. It feels like basketball is just around the corner. The optimism surrounding this team is is palpable, and I'm excited, man. Yeah, let's go. Harrison Graham, Jeffrey Cooperstein here. We're going to be here all season long. Hit that subscribe button. We'll, we'll talk you to you guys soon. Thanks.